cabinet for coming today, and we want to get the floor down so we can start installing this kitchen. Um, we got a little rendering of what the kitchen's going to look like. This is the island down here. So what we're going to do now, clean up the floor, get all the drywall mud and anything off the floor. And what we're going to do is lay our underlayment. This is our underlayment. Start our first row along this wall. Probably going to use our laser, just run all of our rows down this wall and then we'll start moving that way. After that, we'll probably start installing cabinets, but for now, let's get this floor started. We're starting our first couple rows, just trying to stagger it so we don't have our seams too close. Four, three, two, one. We also have these pieces of wood along the edge. Uh, that's our expansion gap, so it has some room to move. Now what we're doing is we're setting our laser along with this line, and then we'll measure it, take a measurement off the wall. And we have the other tape measure over there. We'll line the laser up, whatever this measurement is, we'll go all the way down there, take that same measurement, and then that piece of wood will carry straight the whole way down. Just make sure our first couple rows are straight and then smooth sailing, so I'll show you some time lapses now. Alrighty, so we were able to get a couple more rows down, but we got interrupted because the cabinets got delivered. So now we're gonna go downstairs and check it out. We threw them in the garage just to keep them out of the sun, but check it out. Just the color, got soft closing doors, drawers, all plywood construction, pretty well-made cabinets, but this is it. We also got some of the uh, crown molding we're gonna be putting on the top. Got a nice dental look to it. Come out looking good. We're gonna try to get the flooring done. That way we can install these cabinets and all the appliances. So we got our floor done up to this line right here. We got some more work to do, but for right now, we gotta move into the kitchen and install some of these cabinets because tomorrow the cabinet company is coming back to measure for countertops because they're also doing the countertops. So we got our fridge up here already, but we're gonna bring our cabinets up and our appliances up and start installing this kitchen. We went ahead and painted the green line right here. So we install our cabinets, there's already paint on the edge of them. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and grab our cabinets and start installing this kitchen. See we got our first cabinet in. Uh, it's nice and level. It's got some soft closing doors. It's pretty nice cabinets. One big thing I didn't want to tell you guys is that we used cabinet screws. So here's a regular construction screw, what we use basically for like framing. But this is the cabinet screw. It has a lot bigger head to help shear the weight, hold it up. So you always want to be using this when you're installing cabinets. All right, so we got our uppers installed, the paint color. Now we're installing our lowers. Put our stove in place. It's coming together quick. This outlet's kind of in a bad position. Could be moved over to here. And that wound up happening because we framed a while ago and the kitchen design got moved a couple times. But it's not a big deal if we have to move it. We could easily move it. So we're gonna keep on moving. Probably install these cabinets, dishwasher, so that the people can measure for the counters. All right, so we've got our cabinets installed. Well, most of them, we still have some more, one more to put up there, but we did enough so that tomorrow the cabinet people can come and measure for the countertops. There's gonna be a big island slab right here with the sink cut out, another slab here, and another slab here, but they're gonna be taking care of that. And what we're gonna do now is jump back on this floor and try to get this floor knocked out. Alright, so we got the floor done. 
done finally. Completely done. Looking really good in the sunlight. It's a good color. So what we're gonna do now is cover the floor with our X board and then we're gonna go into the living area and jump on those beams and get those beams completely wrapped in the hardwood and then we'll be done with the hardwood. So let's do that now. So we were able to get one beam busted out. Now we're just gonna keep running it this way. We got a good little system going. Putting a piece, wrapping them, kind of just going around it. Got to go around these lights, make sure we hit no wires with any of the nails. Uh, we got to go around the pendants as well. We're going to be putting corner trim on the corners to cover the corners. Keep moving on down the line, wrapping them with the last of this floor. So we've been moving right along, got the beams basically finished up. We still got to trim the corners out, and put in some of our molding. Pretty close to being done with that material. Uh, next, we're going to get some of this paint on the walls and then the countertops are on their way. And then we're going to wait on the windows and once that in, basically just get it all trimmed up. Show them our fan. And on to the next. We did get our fan up today. We still got to do some trimming out, but we put one color down because the fans on both sides are finished differently. So the homeowner is going to be able to choose which one he actually likes and then we can switch them. But we chose the one that kind of matches the ceiling the most. I'm heading out of town. So he's going to be basically painting this place, keeping us on track. So you guys just heard Chris and he's going to be gone for the week. What we're going to be doing is some painting. We're going to be starting with the ceilings, get my ceiling flat going and we'll bust out these ceilings real quick. So let's get these ceilings done. All right, guys, so I got the ceilings done. Ceiling in here is done. This little hall ceiling's done. Bathroom ceiling, closet and entryway. So let's start with color now. We're gonna start in here and do green in here. The bathroom's gonna get a blue. And then all out here is gonna get the same green as the bedroom, all the way down to the door. So let's go ahead and start color now. So wall one is done, it's a good color. So now it's time to get the other walls done. So all the other walls are done. And since I got all my green out, I'm gonna move down here, get this hallway done, and then move out into this living area. Try to get all these walls done, so let's get to it. Alrighty guys, so I did get all the green paint done. I wanted to show you it from the steps. The steps are gonna be repainted as well. But check it out. It's not too dark. It's definitely darker than the white, but it's not too dark. And with all the windows and all the lighting we're gonna be putting, it's only gonna make it brighter. But it's a cool paint. Uh, the sheen is a matte finish, so it's a flat paint. Looks really good. Got the blue done, it's looking nice. There it is, that's the color of it. And then this is the color of the, the, the tile. It's gonna be a smaller tile, but it is the same color with white grout. And uh, we're doing a little built-in shower caddy. And this is gonna be the floor tile. 
when Chris gets back, we're gonna probably try to tile this bathroom. It's gonna be a wrap for interior painting. We are gonna be doing a second coat at the very end before we finish up because there are some splotchy spots. A little hard to see, but a second roll at the end will fix all that. Um, so we got countertops coming, we got windows coming, we got a whole bunch of trim work, baseboard work, some window casing and trim we gotta do. Um, a lot of tile work in the bathroom, backsplash. This place is coming along really well. Guys, we've been having a lot of fun and hope you guys have been enjoying this, uh, these videos with us because we like doing it and stay tuned for the next video. It's gonna all come together here pretty quick. So keep a lookout for that and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.